Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. This fight, six years in the making. Fighting out of the blue corner, the Rebel, Roy Wills. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, Alexi the Great Petrullius. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's fights are brought to you under the Professional Boxing and Combat Sports Board of Victoria. Your board members, Simone Bailey, Scotty Brower, and your recorder, Thomas Nickel. Your judges at ringside are Dip, Jeb, and Shane Byrne. Your doctor in charge at ringside is Dr. Chris Barnes. Your timekeeper, Tommy Davis. And your referee in charge when that bell tolls, Mr. Trevor Lawler. This fight brought to you by JPS Coatings. Go to jpscoatings.com.au or give them a call, 9357-6644. Ladies and gentlemen, from a sold out St Kilda Town Hall, both Warriors have now entered the ring. And this is the main event of the evening. Melvin, let's bring the noise. It's main event time! Five by three minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Blair Smith with the weapon Toby Smith in his corner out of the Thai boxing pit with an official weight of 64.60 kilograms. A fight record, 48 fights, 35 wins, 13 losses, 11 coming by devastating knockout. Fighting out of Canning Vale, Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Rebel, Roy Wills. And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Superboy, out of eight Blade Warriors, with an official weight of 65 kilograms even. A fight record, 41 fights, 27 wins, 12 losses with two draws, 10 coming by knockout. Fighting out of Leverton, right here in Melbourne, he is a two division WBC national champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Alexi the Great Petrullius. We are here live at the St Kilda Town Hall. This is Rebellion Muay Thai 14. We are watching the main event of the evening. Roy Wills, the Rebel in Blue, against Alex the Great Petrullius. AK, these two fighters are just so talented. They're both absolute warriors. What can we expect? Well, that's a very good question. Make sure you do not blink because these guys are very, very talented. I think you're going to see a little bit more power from Roy and you're going to see a balance of a little bit more technical from Alexi. And that'll be the contrast in the styles. I know throw out to Blair will be home watching the live here to be edging his boy Roy on. He can't be here tonight. But um, don't break the TV, Blair, if you're watching. I'm sure he'll be able to shout loud enough that we'll be able to hear him. Most definitely. You know, two very active fighters. Roy, a crowd favourite. Built a lot of his career off the back of Rebellion. It's been always a pleasure to have him here. Oh, Alexi stepped through. That's the technical side I was saying of Alexi. He's got a few little tricks up his sleeve. And Roy will counter those few little That's tricks work. with his absolute toughness. And tough is the word that comes to mind. We've seen Roy fight on many of these shows, as you said, AK, and the man's just made out of granite. We had the, we had the pleasure of Alexi uh, also co-anchoring with us at the last fight. So it's good to see him in the ring again. Swing and a miss from the Rebel. Do you want me on two corners or just got one? got the, uh, the double wrap on his left shin. Now, generally, that's a sign that um, he's Red them blue. recently or he's popped a bit of an injury in training. So it'll be interesting to see him see many switch up left kicks from Alexi. He might not because he might be carrying an injury we don't know about. Well, time will tell, AK. Okay, they get into the clinch. Both of them trying to get their superior yep, position. Yep, red them blue. Okay, we're just going to stop there. Okay, I'll go to Well taught, both Trap. of them. 
Roy locking down Alexis great uh, clinch there. And I'm always I'm always uh, impressed that Roy keeps his uh, chin tucked right to his chest, and he doesn't even raise his line of sight high enough that he can even see his opponent's eyes. Well. That's true, it's a very good stylistic thing he's got going, but then if you look over in the corner there, he's got his boy Toby Smith, who uh, spars all the time at training, and when Toby chucks one on your chin and it might be sticking up, you know about it, so that's probably why he's down all the time. <laughs> if anyone wants to see the stylistic techniques and be trained in 7-Up by Toby, he will be at William Street Gym here in Balaclava, Victoria, 1 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> Let's head over to the red corner and find out what's happening with the eight blade warriors corner. Listen, on the game. One thing you need to do, don't have to stop the match. Yeah, all the way left, right 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 left, here we go to the replay the rebel Fires off a couple of right legs. Alexi tries to grab and get him, but the ripple just sprinted away. I'm there, I'm on. Beautiful step through his plate, elbow there by Alexi. First round there, back into the action. We've got a five round battle here. Each round three minutes. Roy's got one of the fastest kicks you'll see at this weight division. Time. Hop over here. You all right? Is it in? Watch Roy Chuck. destroy fighters' guards with how quick like that his kick is. These fighters coming in at 65 kilograms. Alexi, the current WBC national super light champ, super lightweight champion, I should say, and the WBC national welterweight. Both boys been around in the country for a long time, fighting for a long time. As you're seeing there, beautiful catch by Roy. Alexi turned off his, with his hip really nicely, kept his balance and counted. Once again, there it is again on the reverse. Roy turning his hip off, showing great balance. That is a great display of technique from both boys there. Uh, don't know if Roy's got his uh, shorts up higher more than usual, but he just seems a little bit leaner and a little bit heavier than, than I've seen him in the past. Possibly. It's a good one. Maybe he's been on the AK for diet. I don't know. What's the website for that? Uh, www.ak Brad Bonnie, I'm booming the next corner for you. This fight is brought to you by JPS Coatings. Architectural finishes made simple. Yeah, Reach the out for you. to John on 0393576644. Big oh. head kick by Roy. Copy. As I called it earlier, Nick, it just accelerates so fast from the floor. One of the quickest kicks you'll see at this weight. Roy just reached out to Alexi there with his right foot. Sweat comes Chuck. flying off Alexi's head then, but didn't stir him too much, still stepped forward. 
Well, nearly gets a take, nearly gets a sweep there, does the Rebel. Alexi still moving forward, good control of the middle of the ring. Roy at this weight generates so much power. You can hear every time that kick just cracks. Sounds like a baseball on a side of me. There it is again. Alexi, if he could close that gap though, has got the height advantage, some cutting elbows, and he does love to throw elbows, he does love blood. Here we go, starting to get a bit scrappy, and at the end of the round. End of round number two. Toby's calling for the setup from Roy. As you can see, as, we, as we've seen on the TV, Roy's so explosive with that kick, but Toby wants him to set it up, not just fire off kick by himself, fake the jab or fake the hook, and then accelerate. As you see seen there, he caught Alexi straight in the head. Boys there are asking for him to close the gap so he can nullify Roy's kick. Once Alexi can close the gap so Roy can't keep his guard, can't kick him to the head. And realistically, that's Alexi's better call for this fight. He's really good in close with his elbows. He'll do a lot of damage. Roy's got a fair bit of scar tissue on his face too, so if he does get caught, it will open up. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Scar tissue. Sorry. Sage words from AK. Alexi! Final instructions. Chuck. This is a third of a five round battle. Again, Alexi takes the center of the ring. As you can see, closing the gap straight away like boy by it. Oh, there's the elbow. Roy's doing a great job nullifying the clinch so far. Alexi peppering away with his right knee there. It is scoring. Okay, gentlemen, we'll stop there. Thank you. Good refereeing. Letting a bit of action on, go, okay. but then when it slows up, breaks them. And compliments to both referees tonight. It can make and break a fight if a referee maybe doesn't have the exact knowledge or skill when it comes to this fantastic sport of ours. But uh, both Ignatius and Trevor doing a fantastic job. Well, I don't think so. I would have it any other way. Also. From that board indeed, thanks for all of your efforts for keeping this sport of ours safe. Once again, Lixie's trying to close the gap. That slap, like you said, that slapping right. Oh, slip. What Rebel. causes that damage to Nick is... Roy's got so much torque through his hips. It's not just his leg extending out from the kick. He rotates so well and his hip comes through it and extends his leg and that's why it cracks so hard. Oh, so back kick. Beautiful job by Alexi, eh? There you go, the technician showing what he can do. Beautiful sweep again. Roy's, that's the second time Roy's fired that off, but he didn't get the drop on uh, Alexi. He didn't get his ass to the floor, but it has had an effect. Closing the gap. Trying. You might see Alexi throwing a knee also when he closes the gap. Change it up a little bit. And you can hear the energy just rising again, AK. Such a fantastic crowd here tonight at Rebellion 14. We're 
coming to you live from the St Kilda Town Hall. Alexi's just like a predator hunting down Roy, but I tell you Got what, the red, then blue. there is no prey in this ring out of these two. <laughs> Cheeky by Roy using the right there, I love it. Step up from Alexi with the left elbow. Roy's got a great clamp down and nullified the clinch there. I reckon a lot of that's come from clinching a multiple champion by Toby Smith. Tracking left kick. How do you reckon you'd go beat kick by those, Nick? Uh, I think I'd be tenderised against State Tartar. And I was amazed, like, Alexi had Roy. Oh, <laughs> Alexi had Roy right back into the corner and he still managed right to, to lean right out of the way of that kick. What a fantastic round three. Superboy asking and pleading for Alexi just not to follow, just not to follow and get sucked in to being kicked. So I'm pretty sure Boy wanted him to knee also then. So with the closing range by Alexi, if you step up and knees, it will definitely help and it'll change the shape of the game for sure. We're gonna come push it on Beautiful, beautiful instructions there by Toby. Just double kick and shit. Beautiful. We have got Roots 3 coming on May 13th here at St Kilda Town Hall. Roots 3, Buffalo Soldier. That will be running all day on May 13th. And then May 13th in the evening, we are going to be spoiled with Rebellion Muay Thai 15. Got him. Thank you. Four. Round four, here we go. Kick for kick. Okay, as a fighter, I, I did see Elixir come out there a little bit frustrated in his eyes. So the mental side's coming into play to in round four. He's not happy with himself, his corner's not happy with him. And he can't be happy if he's copping those kicks. And he, he doesn't have it. You can't defend against that, really, can you? You can either be there and cop it or not be there and miss it. Definitely. It's really interesting to see how you counter something like that from Roy. That was a good tactic to stay long and out of range and a long teach there from Alexi Beautiful. As you see him miss there. And Alexi does have a little bit of uh, distance on, on Roy. 100%. That one or two inches taller can make a difference in range for a kick and punch under the side. The left flank of Alexi's looking red raw. Okay, Dale's also, back on board. changing up head, bicep to low kick. There it was to the body, the kick the ball was to the head. Alexi working hard though, he will not go backwards in a hurry. He loves to then right. Forward. He's okay. a warrior for sure. Into the clinch. Good lockdown by Roy. Stop that, thank you. I think after all of that activity, maybe Alexi just wants a quick breather. I reckon, I, I quietly think Lex is hiding a left shin injury. And he's certainly very light on that left foot. He okay. hasn't really kicked up to the guard with his left leg, and he does tend to like to kick with his left kick, uh, left kick two to the guard. He well, hasn't well, really thrown well, 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 him, so okay, I, we're stop uh, there, thank he's going to use his Jedi psychic abilities and say he's got a left Jump. injury, left shin injury. Well, there you go, he threw a left kick. <laughs> and another one. Oh, geez, that was a cracking right kick there from the Rebel. Good 
good cross guard from Roy, making it very hard. At least he tries to throw the elbow. Kick for kick. That's not a game of tag. I'd like to play with either of them, AK. Uh, myself included. Nice little sneaky left elbow there. Alexi getting through. It's where the Alexi elbows best. Oh, big kicks from both fighters. Alexi accidentally connects what? to the cup of the rebel. Right, the rebel acknowledges it as an accident. Straight back in, tough as nails that man. Balls is here. Lose corner. Very confident there. Toby disconstructing the teeth or push kick away. Change the angle and score at will because I think the corner feels like they're up. And to be honest, I, I do too. I feel the blue corner's up at the moment. Uh, on point. So there you have it, AK. I, I want to ask you, it's round, uh, we're coming into the next round and... Uh, Is that all right? And Roy's... Right. No, no, I had a mental break there and the Rebel... Um, it's being told to be defensive. Is that, do you think that's why strategy, somebody who's just tricky and has so many uh, skills as Alexi? Well, I think, I think Toby knows he's up comfortably and he does respect Alexi and knows Alexi can pull something out of a hat and has got many tricks. So he just wants Roy to be ever so careful. He doesn't get too relaxed in there too caught up in the moment that he's winning the fight so far and makes a, a little mistake. And there you go. Alexi gets him down onto the ground. Follows up with that cracking right leg. Tempo's picked up here in the fourth, 100%. I think Alexi knows he's down on points at the Come moment. Come on, fellas. Work in there. Work, work, work. Alexi gets the grip nice and low. Roy tries to overpower. Lexi puts his head right down, firing off some nice knees yeah. in the clinch there, okay? Changing the rib to leg, really good technique. Turn around, sir. Chuck, go. Energy levels here are very high tonight. It's been a fantastic show. Ah, leg kick there by Roy. Lexi pushing forward. Oh, crossing elbow there. changing the angles. He needs to get out of that corner though, does well. Alexi pressure, a pressure forward. Pops a body kick for his pressure. I'm so impressed when Roy does get pushed into a corner, he can seem to just find mood, uh, uh, space where there is none. It's phenomenal. Well, that's a sign of good fighter. Slight step or slight bit of footwork can change that angle. Let you slip out of a corner or, or create an angle for a punch. As you said, AK, it can come down to just one or two inches, making all the difference. We have got two supremely talented fighters in the ring here tonight. What a fight it's been. What a night it's been. Rebellion Muay Thai. Both boys cracking away at the guard.
taking some deep breaths here. I've never seen Roy gas out, and I doubt that he has now, but some big breaths there, okay? I think we're going to see him fireworks for the last round. Yeah, I think so too, but I think on, work, work. Roy's just uh, okay, comfortable you at the moment. There, he doesn't feel threatened. Thank you. Step apart. I know my last fight against Let's Roy, uh, Rob Fergus, and I felt a little bit too relaxed there. I didn't feel in too much danger, so it can look like you're tired, but um, with the supreme athlete like Roy, unlike my old prick myself, uh, he is not tired. He's fit as they come, especially with Leo training. Alexi's been way more active now, so it is good. Looking good for the scorecard for Alexi, for sure. Nice high kick there from the Rebel. Why is that? I'm so oh. sick. Wow, what a great fight. Entertaining, guys. Technical as ever. Anyone who watches Muay Thai would appreciate that on a, on a technical level, no problem at all. We go to the replay here, and there is that great takedown that Alexi got early in this round. Both uh, boys know what they're doing. And look, looking at it on, on the screen, you don't think those knees are having much of an effect, but mate, when you're sitting here ringside and you can feel the power from you know a few feet away, it's, it's just phenomenal the amount of uh, the amount of power that they can generate with that small knee from you know, moving just a matter of a few inches. Especially when uh, over the period of five rounds, you're taking up to like 40 or 50 knees in that one spot. As you can see there, Alexi's uh, left side, really red from Roy's kicks. So fast. Roy did a great job changing the levels of his right kick. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event we've just witnessed at Rebellion 14. After five rounds of action, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges have scored the contest 50-46. 50-46 and 49-47, declaring you in a via unanimous points decision. Blue corner, the Rebel, Roy Wills. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans across Australia and around the world, the Jedi's called an AK-47, said that the points would go to the Rebel and they have. What a fantastic night of action that we've had this evening. Fantastic battle between these two and uh, the Rebel managing to take the win away from Alexi. Roy. We'll grab a quick word, Roy. Roy, you've come into today's main event, arguably the two best welterweights in the country. Alexi and yourself, a lot of people have been asking for this fight. It's finally happened in the main event and you've done it in some pretty fine style. Congratulations on the win. You must be very happy. Yeah, um, cheers, Alexi, for the fight. Been a long time, but uh, finally got it done, and hope, hopefully the crowd enjoyed it. I think they certainly did, mate. Now your trainer's back home in Perth. Mate, you want to have a shout out to the, to the big man? Yeah, cheers, Blair Smith. You're a legend, mate. Bloody love you. And uh, cheers to all the boys, girls that help out down at the gym in training. Love you all. It'll be a happy place in the Thai boxing pit. But Blair still probably won't smile, but um, I'm sure you won't have a week off either. Uh, Blair's probably angry I didn't win by KO, but uh, <laughs> just, um, nah, hope everyone back home stoked and hope everyone here enjoyed it. Your winner of the main event of Rebellion 14, the Rebel, Roy Wills. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Sai and the entire team at Rebellion, we thank you so much for coming out to Roots earlier today and Rebellion 14 tonight. Congratulations to all the fighters. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you back here in Centering. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Rebellion Muay Thai 14. My name is Nicholas Moranville. It's been a pleasure to commentate here with AK-47, Chris Bradford. What a night, Chris. Oh, it's been a fantastic night. We've seen the girls doing battle, the guys doing battle, some great technique, some blood, no guts. 
but we've seen some KOs as well. We opened the night with a KO from Andrew Lung. Uh, we also had a uh, fantastic split decision from the girls. Nakia Wright just managing to steal from Rebecca McLaughlin. I can't pick a fight of the night though, Chris. Huge comeback by Tux, as we see right there. That was a great comeback by the, uh, the Ballarat boy. Benny Mahoney and Alexi was fantastic. Look, you can't really pick a fight, as you said. It was just a supreme night put on by Sainaji. Once again, a Rebellion promotions. The next night is going to be 13th of May. Come and see Rebellion Muay Thai 15. My name is Nicholas Moranville. Good night, AK-47. Good night, Owen. Thank you once again.